Hello and welcome to this month's heat line video vlog. This month we're going to talk about how to prevent underground water pipes from freezing. The first and often the most convenient way to achieve freeze protection below ground is to bury the pipe deep enough that the frost can't reach it. This is what we call burying below the frost line, where you're able to achieve natural frost protection. Now, if you're not able to bury the pipe below the frost line, or if the pipe has already been installed and buried underground and you're not able to access it, applying a heating cable to the outside of the pipe, or in the case of the pipe that's already buried underground, applying a heating cable to the inside of the pipe, like a retroline system that you see here in my hand, is the most convenient, fast, effective, and safe way to prevent that pipe from freezing in the future. When installing the heating cables for an underground pipe, what you need to also consider is, do I have the opportunity to provide additional insulation other than what the ground will allow you to achieve? And in most cases, when it's a new install, you should be proactive and install pipe insulation on the outside of the pipe prior to bearing it. In the case where you already have a pipe buried underground and you do not want to excavate it or unearth it, at that point you need to make a decision. Would you like to install the heating cable underground in the pipe to prevent freezing? Or would you like to unearth it so that you can apply insulation and at that point decide, do I now go inside the pipe with the heating cable or do I go on the outside of the pipe with the heating cable? The decision you make at that point really comes down to a cost benefit analysis depends on the landscaping, the driveway, are we near any buildings? So it really comes down to the accessibility of that pipe and the potential damage to the environment or their surroundings. And maybe you've invested large amounts of money in landscaping and gardening and other things of that nature. And digging it up isn't the best use of your time or money. And in that case, going inside the pipe with our Retroline product is always the best solution because you can install it simply, effectively, and safely inside your existing pipe without having to unearth anything. Another option that some people consider, and it's not one that we recommend, is allowing your water to run because achieving a consistent flow of water through the pipe will not allow the water to freeze. But in areas where water is expensive, where you want to conserve water, this is not a viable use of our precious natural resource. So we do have customers that call and say, well, I'll allow a pencil drop to run through my pipe. Don't worry, it doesn't use a lot of water. The fact of the matter is it does. And in most cases, if you were to do a cost benefit analysis, our heating cable systems use such a small amount of energy to prevent pipes from freezing that in reality, the energy consumed with the heating cable is generally far less than the amount you would have to pay to continually pass and get rid of the water that's going through that pipe. We hope you found this video vlog helpful. We'll continue to release a new video vlog monthly. So please make sure to stay up to date by visiting our website and signing up to our email newsletter, subscribing to our YouTube channel, following us on Facebook and other social media channels. Thank you for watching.